Mapuea via blowholes in Tonga Tapu Island, Tonga. The Mapuavia or Whistle of the Noble are natural blowholes on the island of Tonga Tapu in the village of Homa in the Kingdom of Tonga. When waves crash into the reef, natural channels in the volcanic rock allow water to forcefully blow through and create a plume-like effect. It is one of the highlights of the tours around the island of Tonga Tapu. Via is the name of the Honorable Via family of nearby Homa. Some of the most spectacular blowholes in the South Pacific can be found along the terraced coastline of southwest Tongatapu. These blowholes stretch for 5 kilometers along the south shore of Tongatapu. The western islands of Tonga are formed from coral reefs. Waves wash against the coral, the pressure from it wears a hole, causing the water to shoot up. They are best viewed on a windy day at high tide when the maximum amount of water is forced up through natural vents in the coral limestone, forming geyser-like fountains of seawater. Here you'll find not one blowhole, but hundreds of them along this three-mile stretch of wild windswept coastline. It is reputed that one of the ancient chiefs of Tonga spent his hours meditating over the blowholes and listening to the whistling of the waves, hence their name, Mapue Avaka meaning chief's whistles. In geology, a blowhole is formed as sea caves grow landwards and upwards into vertical shafts and expose themselves towards the surface, which can result in quite spectacular blasts of water from the top of the blowhole if the geometry of the cave and blowhole and state of the weather are appropriate. Geologists believe that blowholes were created by volcanic flow, shaping a cavity which was then eroded by sea water. Another theory claims that a blowhole is a stage in the erosion of cavities originally created by fresh water once above sea level. Sea waves, according to this theory, entering a cavity will splash upwards on the cavity walls, and together with the strong air currents entering and leaving the cavity will erode the rock and create a blowhole in stages. First an elongated cavity will be created, then upward shafts are added to the cavity. When the erosion creates a cavity in the upper end of the existing cavity the blowhole phenomenon is received. Finally a crack is created releasing more of the air at lower pressure, loosing the blowhole effect, until the cavity roof is completely eroded and opened first into an arch and then into a stack. The basic physics which are thought to explain the blowhole phenomenon are a large cavity with an opening underwater and a spout, a small opening to the air at the end of a shaft. When entering the cavity, water compresses the air, causing a secondary wave which leaves through the spout followed by a burst of water and air. When leaving the cavity, the water is delayed by pressure at sea on the one hand and low air pressure in the cavity on the other, because the spout cannot let air in at the speed of the outbound water. The air filled from the spout creates another secondary wave, this time outwards bound which then pushes the water out in an action similar to the spurts of water when emptying a bottle, after air had been permitted in. No known research has ever been done modeling or excavating blowholes. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.